what's up you guys welcome to another video here on the channel hope you guys can hear me i'm over here at holy smoke here in san antonio texas it's a like a food truck place and it's a pretty nice little setup that they got here like i'll show you guys i'm not eating outdoors or anything like that i just came to pick up some barbacoa for the family and then gonna head out gotta make sure you're wearing your mask out here man stuff's getting real out there but anyway today's video I'm gonna tell you guys what that's all about. But first, barbacoa. All right, everybody, so we ate the barbacoa in the morning, but honestly, it tasted like brisket, greasy ass brisket. It wasn't that good. We were not gonna be going back to that place. It's just, no. But anyway, enough talk about that. So today, I told you guys I finally got a clamshell heat press, and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you guys today. We're gonna redo again the transfers, the sample pack that we got from Supercolor the first time. Obviously, as y'all, if y'all watched the previous video, y'all do know that it didn't go that well because of the pressure that I had because I had a manual press that you have to just kind of press down. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out so that we kind of know the upgrade that we're doing today. It's a small clamshell, you know, key press. It's not exactly like state of the art. But again, if it's within your budget and it works for you and it does the job it's supposed to, there's nothing wrong with starting off with something like that. So today we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna use the exact same shirt that we did last time. That way I can use, that I don't change as many variables. So it'll be a good test to see exactly how it goes with this clamshell. So it's heating up right now and let's get started on the sample transfers to see how it comes out. So we can finally see if we got a clamshell heat press that's gonna do what we need it to do. All right, as you guys can see, we got the clamshell heat press heating up right now. We got it going up to 320. And we have the timer set already for 10 to 15 seconds because you know that's exactly what we need for uh, these transfers to work out. The exact same shirt, you can see our failed experiment here. Go check out that video if you haven't. So that way you can see just exactly how much better it's gonna be. And then we have the company transfer labels right here as well. So we're gonna try that out if everything works out fine. We're heating it up, doing what we gotta do. I like this one because it's a swing away. So that'll be pretty cool to use. Uh, but I got this thing on offer up, guys. This is a good, you know, like a second, third party sharing. I don't know what the hell it is, but you just sell your old stuff. So yeah, it was 120 bucks. Um, I bought it off some guy. He said he wasn't using it anymore. So, you know, um, I think it retails for about 160, 170. So I did save some money and I didn't want to buy like a $250 press or a $300 press because I don't have the money for that right now. So. I had to do what I had to do. I had 120 bucks to spare. So that's what I used to get this heat press. And I hope everything works out well. And we'll use it until we can afford to get a better, a bigger and better one. Uh, so let's get started. So a little bit of a learning curve. Um, this heat press heats up way freaking higher than what it, the temperature you set it at too. So I put it at 320 and it started to smoke. So I checked the temperature and it was almost hitting 450 degrees. That's ridiculous. So I had to lower it down and I put it down to 200 degrees, okay? That's a set temp. Checking the temperature, it's hitting almost 300 degrees. So uh, again, these are things you have to learn with the heat press you just got and every heat press works differently. And obviously the cheaper you get, the more inaccurate the heat readings are gonna be for the temperature that you set. So just be aware of that if you do buy a cheaper heat press like I did. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. You just kind of tinker around a little bit, figure it out and you'll be able to figure it out. So. I have it at 200 right now. Uh, it's registering about 300 degrees. So I'm gonna start to pressing and see if I can do it at 300 with this temperature. And I'm gonna still do it for the 10 to 15 seconds. I'm gonna do it for the 15 seconds still just because it's not quite 320 degrees and just in case. So I'm gonna still do 15 seconds at 200 degrees, but technically it's 300 degrees around there. So let's get our first press. All right, so first you're gonna place your shirt up on here. And then what we're going to do real quick is just, we're just going to press the shirt by itself just to get rid of any wrinkles. So we're just going to press it down for a little bit. Okay, now that, it's just to get rid of some wrinkles that I didn't do correctly, obviously, as you can tell. But the rest of it is good. So anyway, we're going to get the transfer. I'm going to set it right here. And get yourself parchment paper. Um, any old parchment paper will work. You want to place it down on top of where you want your transfer to be. Let's lift this mofo over. I think it's over. 
And then we're gonna press. We're gonna start the 15 seconds. It's gonna be counting down right here. Again, it says 200 degrees, but it's registering around three something. So I'm gonna still do 15 seconds. And let's hope this thing works. All right. Swing it away. Move this out the way. And it's a hot press. Help peel. Yo, hell yeah. Well, so the only thing is I can see right here, initially it lifted up just a little bit. So that means that I need to adjust the pressure just a little bit. The heat time seems to work. Ah, that's hot as hell. The heat time works. I think I need to just put a little bit more pressure. So I'm gonna just crank it up just a little bit. Actually, yes, yeah, it's this way. Crank it up just a little bit. But look at that, man. That looks absolutely dope. That's a hell of a transfer. And it was a quick hot peel. No issues, no problems. Let's try one more just to see if we get it down with the pressure. All right, so once again, we're gonna put a little bit more pressure. But again, just pressing this down just to get rid of some wrinkles. Then we're gonna get out this dope looking one right here. We're gonna set it down just like this. Again, parchment paper of any kind, as long as it's parchment paper. Oh, this. Going just like this, swing this over, and let's press it. 15 seconds. I think we may have found a, a solution to our problem with no heat press. And there's the button, stop the time, lift this bad boy up, swing it out. Let's see. Oh no, it did worse. Hmm, let's press it one more time. Ah, that's weird. So these are kind of problems. So the first, the first test went really well. This next one, not so much. There we go, put some more pressure on there. Now I'm not gonna put timer because I'm not gonna leave for 15 seconds. I'm gonna leave maybe like five or six. Cause it's, uh, Pretty much done, but I just added more pressure. Woo. Now let's try a different corner. Yep, there it goes. So little things that you need to adjust. Look at that color, man, that's ridiculous. That's, that's some good freaking color. Look at that shine, look at that, that's beautiful. Here I have in my hand the transfers that are going to be the first design that we use on some of the clothing that we're going to be giving out or that we're going to be selling. So as you can tell, it's just going to be a plain kind of awesome design that I like, which is just Iron Wolf. And it was established 2020. This concept has been since about two years ago, but it's finally coming to fruition this year. This is where we really decided to launch. Um, so can't wait for you guys to see this on some dope clothing that we got coming soon especially some hoodies that are coming out real, real soon. As a matter of fact, we might make a video next on making some of that clothes if everything works fine in this uh, sample that we're gonna do right now in this little test run. So let's see how it works out. Uh, fingers crossed it works out good. So place that right there. Transfer paper right there. As you can hear my daughter back there, hyping me up, hype me up, girl. Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, moment of truth right here. Uh, press this bad boy down. Oh, that's a lot of pressure right there. 15 seconds, 200 degrees, 15 seconds. Will this be the sweet spot? No, we need more pressure on that. Um, okay, so that didn't work. So instead of peeling it off, I'm just gonna put a little, I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna put it on again. I'm gonna give it one more try. The pressure, I put up the pressure a lot, so I don't think it's the pressure. It might be the time. Only one way to find out. We're gonna press it again. And uh, we'll just 
leave it for the 15 seconds again. So in total, this will be what, 30 seconds? Putting it on there. Um, hopefully this works out because I don't want to overdo it either. I don't want to mess up the transfer. Um, so, all right, here we go. Time's done. Lift this bad boy up, turn it over. Let's get a different corner. Yep. A little bit of a problem right there in that corner where we lifted it up right now. But look, you could always put your parchment paper back on after you've already pressed it and you've taken off the plastic. You can always put the, the transfer the parchment paper back on and then you literally just come back and you just press it just for like a couple, like a two, three, four seconds. You lift it up and that's just to kind of cement. But look, sometimes that can cause an issue. You see how there's wrinkles now in here? So that is me when I lifted up the thing, when I lifted up the heat press, I didn't make sure that there was no um, wrinkles in the shirt before I pressed again. So just make sure you don't do that because then you're gonna end up with a wrinkle design like that. But if everything works out, the, like if you tweak it correctly, then you're able to get your your heat your heat transfer done on the first try and you don't have to redo that because look how good these two came out so again it's just a matter of practice trial and error is the way you're going to get these things done but i think we may have figured out exactly how to do these heat transfers um so i think i'm going to show you guys in the, the next video and not an upcoming video exactly um how we're gonna put those on the shirts and stuff and the designs that they're gonna look like. So that'll be the design. Yeah, my little girl's uh, singing in the back. So guys, this is the shirt. We have the old samples that we did with the manual heat press, the one that I had to hold down and press down. They didn't work out good, was not good for the heat transfers. This is the clamshell ones right here. Obviously they worked out a lot better. These two came out extremely, like nine, 10 out of 10, these came out. Um, we had to tweak it. This one, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 just because I messed it up when I repressed again. It was fine. But I just wanted to show something about how, how there could be errors that happen. So um, overall, I'm very happy with these transfers. And I'm actually excited to show you guys what I'm going to do when I put them on the clothing. And when uh, we get those out to you guys. Um, that'll probably be the next video. If not, I was thinking of doing uh, like a hot chip challenge thing with some hot chips that we found with another YouTube channel. Her name is uh, Christina Marie. I believe the name of the channel is. Uh, so we'll be doing... I collab with her and so i'll show you guys that video too that'd be really fun and, and cool i'm not too good with hot stuff so but we'll see how it works out um again guys so if you want to get your super color heat transfers if you want to just get the sample pack go sign up again um on their website which is supercolor.com uh, just go as soon as you make an account they literally send you a sample pack just for signing up so you don't even have to order one it'll get out to you and you can go and try it out for yourself and if you like them Order some for yourself. I'm telling you guys, for the mark, for the you're getting you're getting the value. Okay, this is some dope ass shit right here. You're getting good money. I mean, a good product for your money. So, get out there and uh, start your business, guys, just like I did, and see what happens. Let me know if you get your clamp uh heat press and it works out better for you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe in the in the bottom in the bottom below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you clicking on today's. I'll see you.